Hi, this is David Williams from iExpert Advisor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Custom Indicator Wizard to analyze a custom indicator. I created the Custom Indicator Wizard a few years ago to help myself and other traders learn how to use custom indicators within our own Expert Advisor, even when the MQL code for the custom indicator is not available. The custom indicator we're going to analyze today is the Hull Moving Average. What's interesting about the Hull Moving Average is that it draws a single line on the price chart, but the color of the line may be blue or red. A blue line indicates a buy signal, and a red line indicates a sell signal. This price chart shows the Hull Moving Average. Now, before we get started, there's some things we need to understand about MQL4 custom indicators. Most, but not all, indicators have input parameters, usually period or shift, your typical indicator inputs. We need to know these to analyze our custom indicator. The good news is that it's easy to find this information. Just attach the indicator to a chart and click the input tab. It's all right there. Whenever you use the custom indicator wizard, you'll need to find and enter these input values. Now, all custom indicators have some kind of output. Of course, that's the purpose of the indicator, to output a line, a bar, an arrow, some kind of information that helps you with your trading. In the case of the Hull indicator, the output is a single line that's either blue or red. So, the objective of using the custom indicator analyzer is to configure the Hull indicator so it could be used in VTS just like any of the built-in indicators. In order to do this, we'll need to define the input parameters and discover the output that the indicator generates. Once we've done this, we'll be able to drag and drop the whole indicator onto any drawing in VTS. So discovering the output of the indicator is the hard part, and that's why I built this wizard to help. A MetaTrader 4 custom indicator supports up to eight buffers. Generally speaking, a buffer is used to draw lines or objects on the price chart. Think of a buffer as a list of numerical values, often price values. So this means a custom indicator can draw up to eight different lines on a chart. These lines can be different colors and different styles, such as solid, dash, dots, etc. But not all of the buffers are always used to draw lines. Often, some of them are used for internal calculations, especially for complex indicators. The CIA wizard creates an expert advisor that writes the values of all eight buffers directly on the price chart. And these values are updated on every tick. This allows us to analyze the values of each buffer and discover exactly what values are written to each buffer and how these values correspond to the color of the line drawn on the chart. A buffer is sometimes referred to as a mode. This is because mode is the name of the parameter that's used with indicators that draw more than one line. For example, the ADX indicator draws three lines. The mode parameter of the ADX indicator is used to get the specific value of one of the three lines. And by the way, any expert advisor created by the CIA wizard has two inputs, a start candle and end candle. These allow you to view the value of all eight buffers not only for the current candle, but for as many candles as you need. Sometimes you need to see the relationship between the value of a current candle and previous candle to understand how the indicator works. In this case, for the whole indicator, we only need to see the buffer values for the current candle. To get started, from the VTS welcome screen, select Start New Wizard, and then click CIA Wizard. I'll name the system Hull CIA and select OK. The CIA wizard guides you through three steps to create your CIA expert advisor. In the first step, labeled Start, this describes how the wizard is used and provides background information on how custom indicators are used in MT4. The next step, labeled Add, 
allows us to add any available custom indicator on our MT platform that we wish to analyze. When we click the Add CI sub-step, a window is displayed that allows us to choose any of the custom indicators installed on our MetaTrader platform. I'll find and choose the IFX underscore hull indicator and then select OK. Now we'll define the inputs needed by the hull indicator. These are the same inputs shown when the indicator is attached to a price chart. As a matter of fact, I'll attach the hull indicator to a chart and display the input tab so I could easily enter the information into the VTS input dialog. The order of the input parameters is important, so I'll be sure to enter them in the same order that they're listed. First, I'll add period with a default value of 16. Then, I'll add method with a default value of 3. Then, I'll add price with a default value of 0. And finally, I'll add shift also with a default value of 0. By the way, the names of the input parameters are not important. I like to use names that are unique for the custom indicator, but that's not required. The next step is to build the expert advisor. Just click the build button. This step generates the MQL code and then builds the EA. Now we can attach this expert advisor to a live price chart, on a demo account of course, and watch its behavior. Or we could run the expert advisor on the MetaTrader strategy tester and watch it that way. I'm recording this video on a Saturday. And since the market is closed, I'll use the strategy tester to analyze this indicator. We'll use the strategy tester in visual mode, and we'll apply a template to the chart with the hull indicator attached, so we can watch the values of the buffers and the color of the indicator at the same time. To create a template that uses the hull indicator, open any chart, attach the hull indicator, and then right-click the chart, select template, and save the template, and give it a good name that you'll remember. Now, when we start our test, we'll add this template so the whole custom indicator can be viewed. In your MetaTrader platform, select View Strategy Tester. Then, select the Hull CIA Expert Advisor. Check Visual Mode and move the bar to the far left so the test runs very slow. This will give us a chance to apply our template while the test is still running. Select Start to start the test. Now, right-click anywhere in the chart, select Template, and load the Hull template. Now the hull indicator is displayed along with our buffer values. When the chart is selected, I press the N key on my keyboard so the rightmost part of the chart is always displayed. This way I can see right away when the line changes color. Now we analyze the information we're seeing. The value for each buffer or mode of the indicator is listed on the price chart. In this case, the value is shown for the currently forming candle and the candle that just completed. I'm only looking at the values for the currently forming candle. After watching this for a few minutes, I can see that mode zero is always the same, regardless of the color of the line. It looks like it's a price value. The same can be said for mode three. It's always the same value. Also, I can see that modes 4 through 7 are always 0. So it looks like modes 0, 1, and 4 through 7 are not related to the line changing color. That leaves modes 1 and 2. 
I'm going to rerun the test and watch those closely. You may have noticed by now the very large value sometimes shown on the chart. The value is 2,147,483,647. In MQL, it's used to represent an empty value. Because many indicators sometimes have a legitimate value of zero, zero is not available to be used to represent an empty value. So MetaTrader, somewhat arbitrarily, shows us a very large value to represent an empty value. This is a very important piece of information. Now, when we watch this EA run, we can see this empty value is sometimes written to the chart. After watching this for a few more minutes, I'm starting to see a pattern with modes 1 and 2. It looks like the line is red whenever mode 1 is the empty value, and the line is blue whenever mode 2 is the empty value. Well, that's what we were looking for. We now have an understanding of how this indicator works, and we could use this information to configure our custom indicator and build logic that recognizes the color of the line. And that's just what we'll do next when we build our whole trading system.